Hello grade 10, welcome. In this video, let's talk about the processes that occur in the different types of converging plate boundaries. Tara! Our discussion will focus on the learning competency explain the different processes that occur along the plate boundaries. Previously, you learned that there are three types of plate boundaries produced when plate tectonics occur. These are convergent, divergent, and the transform fault boundary. Today's lesson will focus on one, and that is convergent plate boundary, which happens when crusts come together or move towards each other, as you can see in the arrows shown in the illustration. There are three types of convergent plate boundaries. We have the oceanic continental convergence, Oceanic-Oceanic Convergence, and the Continental-Continental Convergence. Now let's start with Lesson 1, Converging Oceanic and Continental Plates. This type of convergent plate boundary happens when a denser oceanic plate collide with a less dense continental plate. Now, what are the geologic processes and features formed by converging oceanic plate and continental plate? When collision happens, the denser oceanic crust undergoes what we call subduction process. Subduction refers to the bending of the crust towards the mantle of the earth. Since the mantle is hotter than the crust, the tendency is the subducted crust melt forming magma a molten material found beneath the surface of the earth. The magma become less dense, allowing it to rise and reach the crust and causing volcanic activities on the continental leading plate. This event gives rise to the formation of a volcanic arc. This is why most surface volcanoes are found near the edge of a continental leading plate. And this is also the reason why most of the active volcanoes in the world are located along the plate boundaries. Another geologic feature formed by subduction process are the ocean trenches. Ocean trench is a long, narrow depression on the seafloor created by the subducting oceanic plates. Ocean trenches occupy the deepest layer of the ocean like the Philippine Trench and the Marianas Trench. This entire region is known as a subduction zone. Subduction zones have a lot of intense earthquakes and volcanic eruptions. The continuous grinding of plates against each other in the subduction zone leads to the occurrence of earthquakes. Earthquakes produced in the subduction zone is the reason why most earthquake epicenters are found along the boundaries of the lithospheric plates. To sum it up, subduction process leads to the formation of the following geologic features, volcano, ocean trench, and volcanic arc. The grinding of plates produce earthquakes. And that's the end of Lesson 1. Now let's discuss Lesson 2, Converging to Oceanic Plates. This type of convergence happens when an oceanic crust collides with another oceanic crust. Now what are the geologic processes and features formed by converging two oceanic plates? In oceanic-oceanic convergence, the heavier oceanic plate subducts beneath the other oceanic plates, also creating subduction zone. The features of a subduction zone are the same with the oceanic continental subduction zone. The subducted material also melts and forms magma and rises towards the surface of the ocean forming volcanoes. In this case, the line of volcanoes that grows on the upper oceanic plate parallel to the trench is called an island arc. A volcanic island arc is a chain of volcanoes positioned in an arc shape, as you can see in the illustration. Converging oceanic plates will also cause formation of trenches, and these trenches will become sources of earthquakes. Underwater earthquakes, especially the stronger ones, can generate tsunamis. 
a Japanese term for harbor wave. This is a series of ocean waves with a very long wavelength caused by the large-scale disturbances of the ocean. Some parts of the Philippines originate from oceanic-oceanic convergence. The territory of the Philippines is composed of many island arcs formed by several incidents of subduction. The island arcs are collectively called Philippine Island Arc System. Majority of the islands in the Philippine archipelago are considered as part of the Philippine Mobile Belt. These islands were formed 65 million years ago at the southern edge of the Philippine Sea Plate. Other parts of the Philippines such as Palawan, Mindoro, and the Zamboanga Peninsula are all highland sections of the Sundaland block of the Eurasian Plate. The Philippine Mobile Belt eventually collided with the Sundaland block, which explains the presence of trenches. Summing up our lesson, oceanic-oceanic convergence also creates subduction process which leads to the formation of the following geologic features, volcano, ocean trench, and volcanic island arc. The grinding of plates produce earthquakes which can cause tsunamis. Now let's proceed with lesson 3, converging two continental plates. This type of convergence happens when a continental plate collides with another continental plate. What are the geologic processes and features formed by converging two continental plates? When two continental plates converge, a collision zone is formed. Since subduction is impossible between two colliding continental plates, pressure is released by pushing the crust upward forming mountains. Since subduction ceases for this particular type of convergence, no trench, no volcano, no island arcs are formed. What is created is a large group of tall mountains called mountain ranges. The convergence of two continental plates leads to the formation of the greatest mountain ranges in the world, including the Himalayan mountains, where the highest mountain, the Mount Everest, is located. Therefore, mountain ranges in the world are products of converging two continental plates. To sum it up, in continental-continental convergence, no subduction process takes place. Therefore, no volcano, no ocean trench, and no island arcs are formed. What is created is a mountain range. And that ends our lesson. Congratulations! Thank you for watching.